Hello everyone, in this script demo I'm going to show you a quick code tester that allows you to type out a small piece of code inside this GUI and test out to see if whether you're getting the result you are expecting. If you are interested in this script, please continue watching. So I was uh, looking through the run command in the official Orohage documentation and I came across a piece of code that I found interesting because the way it looked was that it was executing um, the script that is being fed into Orohaki. So I have taken it. I'm not an expert in WScript, Windows Script Host, but it, this was uh, relatively easy enough to try and understand what's going on. And I could see that this com object was being created for that. And then um, variable was set up to store the auto key executable or create an instance of that I suppose and then you write the script which is the variable that gets fed into the uh, function called execute script and then you close it out I guess uh, after you, you run the script and I suppose by writing you also run what's inside as well and you can really actually just create an auto key script to create an auto key file and run that instead of um, doing this but this looks pretty neat too so why not so the this function is run when you um, this uh, this is a GUI and uh, let me just run it actually so I've got it right here so I'm going to just type out message box hi and if I hit run that will show me the message box so this works perfectly as a little code tester um, I can do more complicated stuff like say for example slightly more complicated stuff like um, running a command prompt to start excel.exe and that opens up excel now I have tested around with um, uh, with a few scripts and some of them I'll show you so I've got this script that um, I got from somewhere I think this yeah this this post where so basically I'm just going to copy that and paste it into the edit field of this GUI where if I run it it's going to magnify the area around the cursor and this is a pretty big script as you can see it's a it's got many many lines but it's still and a lot of comments as well but it still works and another one is to draw on screenshot so this one also has a lot of lines of codes including a lot of DLL calls and if I pasted that into my editor and ran it and uh, try testing it out so it, it works so it works pretty reliably um, and uh, I can also try testing out uh, say uh, one of my one of the scripts that I saved in my website so for example, tooltip font and tooltip color. Run it. So yeah, you see the tooltip is uh, being updated in terms of deformity. Now, so this seems to work pretty well. And uh, yeah, of course, if you uh, if you have pointers, or references to other scripts or files, or you're using the include. Uh, command to include other auto hockey scripts then you might have to update all of that because it depends on where where you save the code tester dot auto hockey um, I haven't tested this out so much so I don't know what are its limits all right that's it for today's video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video